everyone welcome to this updates video i hope you're doing well we're going to be taking a look at what is going on across the atlantic with focus being on the caribbean as per usual and so before i get into it here is the question of the day so within earth's interior is a semi-fluid of hot molten rocks when it reaches the surface what is it called save your answer You'll know if you're correct later down in the video. So let's get back to what is going on across the Atlantic. We can see here on the satellite imagery that there is some action over in parts of Africa and along the intertropical convergence zone. And also when we uh, zoom into the Caribbean here in the South Caribbean, we're seeing some of these clusters of showers and thunderstorms just offshore Panama. And there was also a magnitude 5 earthquake offshore Colombia this morning. So that happened, a moderate shake in there. We haven't had a magnitude 5 in the Caribbean Sea in a little while. So yeah, but that was offshore and no land areas fell that full 5 uh, uh, magnitude 5 shaken. You can let me know if you felt it. You know, maybe you're in the ABC Islands and you felt a brief jolt early this morning. You can let me know. But uh, in terms of weather conditions, we're seeing that for the lesser Antilles, the greater Antilles, even up to the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands, not a whole lot happening. Maybe pretty overcast with a passing shower for Grand Cayman, though a bit of activity coming in from the west. And as it pertains to the rainfall activity expected today, here we can see that there's not a lot of color across much of the Caribbean islands. So a few showers may move by, as I said, the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Cuba, parts of the Bahamas, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and maybe a few spots in the Lesser Antilles, potentially near the ABC Islands as well. But most of that action is going to be for Northern South America, Colombia, Venezuela, parts of Guyana, Suriname, and French Guiana. Then as we head to Central America, Panama, Costa Rica, parts of Nicaragua as well, it's going to be a little bit active. But as we head further north to parts of Honduras, Belize, the Bay Islands, and even to Mexico and Northern Guatemala, much not expected today as it relates to rainfall activity. So things are a bit dry right now in the Caribbean, but as we're going to be heading into late May and even early June, we could definitely see the rainfall activity kicking up in the region. So here we're looking at the weekly forecast from one of the models, the climate forecast system. Now this runs from May 19th through the 26th. And here we can see that there are these different colors. These yellow shadings indicate below average rain. The whites indicate that things are going to be pretty much normal, but the greens indicate above average rainfall. And then uh, as we're going to be heading through that week, headed to late May, we can see Areas such as Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and most of the Lesser Antilles, excluding Grenada, Trinidad, and Tobago, may experience above average rain, even parts of Northern South America and Central America as well. Then as we head from the week of the 26th to the 2nd of June, we see more areas in the North Caribbean uh, to potentially receive above average rain, which include Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, and even Cuba, as well going up to uh, parts of the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands. So hopefully that comes to fruition. I mean, some areas have received some decent rain in recent weeks, but for others, you know, it's not enough. The rainfall that, you know, has been ongoing hasn't been enough to really offset uh, some drought conditions. So, you know, rainfall activity is going to be kicking up as we head into June and June is the start of the uh, Atlantic hurricane season. Meanwhile, this week, as in Wednesday, on the 15th of May, is the start of the Pacific hurricane season. And I mean, sea surface temperatures are pretty warm in the East Pacific right now. That system is still expected to potentially develop this week. I'll be keeping you posted on it. But look at the Atlantic. The Gulf of Mexico is getting pretty warm. The Caribbean is well on its way. Same thing for the main development region. So things are definitely setting up for an active hurricane season this year. And of course, I'm here to keep you posted on what is going on every step of the way. All right, so now we're returning to the question that I asked at the start of the video. Within Earth's interior is a semi-fluid of hot molten rocks. When it reaches the surface, what is it called? The answer is lava. So that semi-fluid 
is magma in Earth's interior. But of course, you know, when there is an eruption, what we see on Earth's surface is not magma, but rather lava. So lava is basically magma that reaches Earth's surface. And so guys, that is what I wanted to share with you in this update video. Again, there could be some above average rain in parts of the Caribbean late May. There was that moderate earthquake of magnitude 5 shaken just offshore Colombia. And also, uh, the eastern Pacific hurricane season begins this week and we may see development. But I'll be keeping you posted as time goes by. So that's it for now. And if you have any questions, do feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.